Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is a performance-based question, a challenge of VLAN trunking and VLAN tagging. So we'll learn the difference of what a trunk is and why that's important and also how to tag ports for VLAN on a switch or possibly a router. Okay, so what do we see here? What's the instructions? Click the wires so that each switch has one client on VLAN 1, one client on VLAN 2. So they both need to be separated. They cannot talk to each other on the switch. Okay. Um, both VLANs need to communicate with one another. And here are the options. VLAN 1, VLAN 2, or trunk. So you can switch any of these red lines to be any of those options. So pause the video for a minute. Think, how can we accomplish this so both VLANs can communicate to one another on each device? So are you ready? Do you have an idea or an answer? Okay, so for this video, I am just using a PBQ from Total Seminars. So we know that each lane has to have at least one VLAN 1, VLAN 2. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so the router has both VLANs. This switch, however, is connected directly to the router, and this switch is not. Since the switch number 2 is dependent on switch number 1, then we need to make sure that they uplink and they trunk properly. And there you go. That is the correct answer. So make sure that their uplink or their trunk is working correctly, and then both VLANs will be able to tag correctly and operate on the network. Great. Good job. Um, I also wanted to do the training exercise that they have for um, tagging a VLAN. So let's do that now. So you'll need to know the IP address of the switch that you're logging into. And I'm a fool. I just didn't type that at all. Okay, oops. Well, it is live video. 239. Okay, so that's the IP address. This looks like a Netgear. I've seen this at work a few times. I've had to like factory set some, but nothing too crazy. Gotta do an exclamation mark. So that's pretty secure. Probably one of the better passwords I've seen. Okay, uh, and then we get logged into the switch. We can just see basic information like the IP address, um, the different ports. There's only one port that's up or being used rather, and the others are available. Okay, uh, we're going to the switching tab and guess where VLAN is. Well, click on VLAN. Uh, okay, so we want to turn on port-based VLANs because right now there's nothing. Okay, and then we'll have to go into each port and tag it as a VLAN 1 or VLAN 2. So depending on the setup and the switch, um, this one doesn't really correlate to the exercise that we just did. But that's okay. You get the idea. So it really depends on the port number that correlates to the VLAN number. And I believe that's it. Yeah. And okay, that's it. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new about VLANing or tagging ports or trunking or all of the above, or maybe you just feel a little more confident. Good luck on your exam.